to read through this problem. A wallpaper hanger charges a fee of $25 plus $12 for each roll of wallpaper used in the room. If the total charge for hanging wallpaper is $97, how many rolls of wallpaper were used? Before we start the problem, let's do a little pre-work. Let's get a feel for this problem. Let's say Susie is changing her wallpaper and she has a small room and she only needs two rolls of wallpaper. How much will it cost? Well, there's $12 charge for each roll. So we're gonna need $12 times two. And then the wallpaper guy charges $25 just to come there. So 20, I don't know, maybe for gas or supplies or I don't know what. So he charges $25 flat fee plus $12 per each roll. So how much is Susie gonna end up paying? Well, the two times 12, that'll be 24 bucks. Oops, that's a four plus 25, so she'll end up paying $49. Let's say Ed has a huge room that he needs wallpaper, and he needs 50 rolls of wallpaper. How are we going to figure out his charge? Well, it'll be $12 times his 50 rolls plus that flat rate of $25. So the 12 times 50, that would be $600 plus 25. So he'll end up spending $625. So now that we've got a feel for it, how could we make an equation for this? Well, let's say that, let's put P for price, P equals, and then each roll of wallpaper is $12, so you have to take 12 times R, 12 times the number of rolls, plus $25. And you can kind of see that there. 12 times 2 plus 25, 12 times 50 plus 25, 12 times however many rolls of wallpaper there are plus 25 equals your price. Now that we have an equation, we know that somebody got charged $97. So their price was $97. I want to know how many rolls they ordered. So the R is my unknown, that's my variable. $97, that goes in for P, that was the price they were charged. So now I just solve for R. six rolls of wallpaper. The same thing works down here. You have a flat rate of $350 for ordering tickets, probably the shipping, and then $1750 for each ticket you per purchase. So the total price that you're going to pay is going to be $1750 times however many tickets you ordered plus a 350 flat rate. So if you know that you paid $161 for your tickets, that's how much you paid, that's what you put in for price, you can solve this equation to find out how many tickets you had. So you'd minus 350 from both sides and then divide by 17.5, both sides. We'll do these same problems, we'll do these problems the same way. 12 is what percent of 60? So the is is the equal. Whenever you see a what percent, put a P for percent. So 12 is what percent of means times 60. We're going to set all these up and then go back and solve them. Again, that next one. The is means equals what is 
15.4% of 50. Okay, before we write this one down, a couple of things. Now, it doesn't say what percent. It just says what. I'm going to put an X or an N here. The is will be the equals. You have to change your percents to decimals. So this would be 0.154 of means times 50. So X is means equals 0.154 of means times 50. Down here, 10 is 30% of what? So of what? It didn't ask what percent, just what. So I'm going to put an X or an N there. 30%, I'm going to change that to a decimal. You always have to change percents to decimals before you put them into the equation. So 10 is, that's equals, 30% percent, 0.3 of is times X. Next one, what percent of 50 is 35? So what percent of 50, that'll be one expression, is is equals 35, that'll be the other side. What percent, I'm going to put a P there since they're asking me what percent. So what percent P of means times 50 is means equals 35. Now let's go back and solve all of these. Notice the difference between when I end with a P and when I end with an X. So the first one, 12 is what percent of 60? Well, I just want to undo timesing by 60, so I'm going to divide both sides by 60, and I'll just get out my calculator. 12 divided by 60 is 0.2. Now notice this, when you end up with 0.2 is equal to P, if it's a percent, it's a P, you have to then change that decimal into a percent. So 0.2 is 20%. 12 is 20% of 60. Next one, what is 15.4% of 50? Now X equals, we just have to do this multiplication. So in a calculator, just type 0.154 times 50, you get 7.7. .7. X equals 7.7. .7. 10 is 30% of what? I have to solve for X, so I have to undo timesing by 0.3. So I'll divide both sides by 0.3. So I get x is equal to, I type in 10 divided by 0.3 on my calculator, and I get 33.3 repeating. Last one, what percent of 50 is 35? I want to solve for p, so I'm going to undo timesing by 50. So I'm going to divide both sides by 50. P is equal to, on my calculator, I do 35 divided by 50, and I get 0.7. Notice, since it's a P, that means I'm going to have to change it to a percent. So 0.7, move my decimal place two places, that's 70%. 70% of 50 is 35.